Ladies and gentlemen, let me call this meeting to order. I apologize, I was a minute, two or three late. Uh, this is the March meeting for the Valley for Mount Zone Board of Appeals. Can we get the recorder, Mr. Oh, okay. For those of you that have never been here, please sign in in the back. We need your presence recorded for the minutes. The way we operate, I will call each case by case name and case number. Staff will come to the lectern, give us the meet of the request. There will probably be discussions and or questions among board members and to staff to make sure we understand it. Once we have heard that side, then I will ask if there is anyone here, either the applicant or someone representing the applicant, who would like to come up and give us any additional information. If you are here, and would like to give us more information, please come to the lectern. We need your name and address for the record. Please give us the information that you want us to take under advisement concerning this case. Once we have heard that information, there will potentially be questions or comments or discussions among the board members. Once we're satisfied we have heard that, I will ask if there's any other persons here in support. If there are multiple people in support, we ask that one person please come to the lectern and give us the information that you want us to have. If that person does not touch the subjects that you feel like need to be touched on, please come to the lectern and give us that information. Again, I would need your name and address for the record. Once we have satisfied ourselves and we've heard that side, then I will ask if there are any persons here in opposition or if there are any persons that may have questions about what is being requested. Please come to the lectern, give us your name and address for the record, and tell us what your concerns are or your opposition is so we can take it into advice. Once we have heard from both sides, we will normally render a decision here today. However, it is within the bylaws. If we feel like information is lacking or parties need to talk to try to resolve issues or whatever, it is within the bylaws for us to table it until the next regularly scheduled meeting. Okay, uh, first case that we'll call is Lowndes County case VAR 2013-19. This is the North Valdosta Church of God, 3492 Mount Zion Church Road, Valdosta. <coughs> <coughs> this is a case that has been held over. <coughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Before, as the chairman, as you stated before, this case was tabled at you all's January and February meeting um, in order to allow the applicant to go back and see what could be done um, to show an effort um, to his variance request. The applicant is requesting the variance to Chapter 6 and Chapter 4 of the OVC as it pertains to the design and landscape requirements for parking lots. In this case, the applicant would like to develop the property or has developed the property for a new sanctuary and he's requesting a relief to not pay their parking, um, neither landscape their parking lot. Um, update to this case is that the applicant has gone and um, form some construction. I think he's planning to pay that he's the handicap um, portion of, of parking, um, but there's still relief needed for the required landscaping. Um, Afton is here. Um, we can update you more as to why um, the pavement, actual pavement hasn't been done. Um, I believe it's just due to the inclement weather. Staff has been working with applicants since 2010 and could not support the variance request as presented. Um, with that, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Any questions from the board at this time? I have a question. Sure. Um, today when I was out there, they have paved the designated handicap area, but they are relocating the handicap area, and it's going to be in front of the previous building that was there for the sanctuary, sanctuary to sell. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of that? No, I'm not. I do know if they've relocated that parking area, um, different from what the plans were approved for, they would have to submit in um, or revise that plan so the county engineer can look at the um, 
elevation and make sure you know it's, it's designed uh, to meet their standards. Well, I talked to the minister and the paving person, and they are using the current area is helping to drain the water off because it's lower than some of the outside area of the lot, and it's helping direct the water, and they're going to relocate it. How do we do that? Um, as of this morning, the county engineer has received no plans from their design professional or engineer um, as to if they're going to revise what they were originally approved for. Okay, in that case, sounds to me like we are at probably a standstill on this until such time as that is resolved. Or he may be able to enlighten some discussion he's had with the county engineer. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll see what he says and go from there. Any other questions or discussions? Can you refresh our memory as to what is the required for that property? The landscape requirements is that there has to be one tree planted for every 500 square feet of that parking area, and the landscaping requirements is that they have to. Um, plant vegetation at least five percent of that total um, that's uh, parking area, and it was it was minimal. It, it was minimal. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking at the buffer. There's supposed to be a buffer here, but there between the church property and the residence next to it. They requested a relief back in 2010. It was granted a relief to. Okay. But that's, that's been granted. What, what we're dealing with here is the actual planning in the parking area. Mm -hmm. The site plan, uh, you will yeah. designate the planning areas. I do have an extra copy if you all want to see that. Yeah. As far as the impervious surface, the county does allow them to put crushed gravel in some instances? Yes, there's been some discussion of using some alternative methods such as gravel or millings, um, which it would reduce, I mean, it would be 50 cent less than what your normal paving concrete or asphalt would be. But yes, we've been in discussion with Ashley about that. Any other questions, any other discussions from the board? Is there anyone here in support? Is the applicant here would like to give us some additional information, please? Second phase, you see there, where we mark for second phase. 
third phase and the fourth phase and the last phase will be to really uh, to get the uh, planter in front of uh, the, uh, in the parking lot area. That will be our last phase right there to make sure that we get that done. That, that's the landscaping. That will be probably the only landscaping um, left to do that when we get through with uh, phase four. We want to make sure we get that done before we start it. three or five years, and earlier if funds come in. Um, we were able to do a little bit extra now because some funds had come in, and so if the funds come in, we'll be working it, it, as soon as it comes in. Okay, and how many days of the week does, is this parking lot full? Just on Sunday mornings, basically. Just one day a week? Current time, there is a concrete pad in front of the new building. Yes, sir. That's and morning. Is that not where the original handicap was going to be, Carmel? Um, yes, sir. I believe so. Yes, sir. I don't guess on the plans. I mean, it's, it's on the plans, it's in the package four spots in front of the new building. Right. Yes, that was the original plan. So we, we are not changing from the plan. We're going to change from the plan. I've asked my engineer uh, about that already. And if we need a... Uh, you then, have, you have been in touch with the county engineer? I've kind of with my the engineer that built the plans. And your proposal is now to move the handicap from where he is on this drawing to another spot in front of the other building or something? Yes, sir. To those spots in front of the building, the, the old building. That's my course. I think on this map it would be in the area designated phase one. Yes, ma'am. That's okay. Let me ask you a question. Y'all are evidently short of funds, and the county, according to our information, the county has recommended alternative surfaces such as lime rock, crushed concrete, which would be a lot cheaper. Why have y'all not entertained that idea? Because no. concrete is expensive. I understand that, but I wanted to, we really wanted to uh, do a parking lot that's small assets. So we don't have to come back and do anything else. Well, that was my question about how often do you use it, because when parking is only used occasionally, and it's uh, then it can hold up just as well with these other kinds of surfaces. It doesn't have to be concrete. If you have a parking lot that's going to have somebody in, you know, 365 days of the year, you want it to hold up. But if you're only going to have a parking lot that's going to have people in it, you know, less than 100 days of the year, then you can go with a, 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 a pervious surface. Yes, sir. Well, 
but they're going they're proposing to use this building within the next three to five years not wait until this all this is completed correct so to get a certificate of occupancy they got to have this variance from us on file once we have granted something like this and they've got the certificate of occupancy and they're using it and they fall back on any of this what kind of enforcement do we have to put teeth into this to say okay guys we got to move on southfield <clears throat> we couldn't enforce it you know somebody would have to have a calendar to keep up with it So in, in most other cases, it's generally neighbor or complaint oriented that somebody calls up and says, hey, they have not fulfilled what they were supposed to, and then we send somebody out and look at it and yes or no, or maybe. Or. Yeah. And Carmel, in, on the suggestion that is made here that um, acceptable services include mine rock, concrete, et cetera, the cost of that would be one half of the concrete. So they would do a surface like that, and then they would still have to do the raised um, curve for the landscape. Is that true? That would be, um, they don't have to do the raised surface for the landscape. You would have to do that to keep cars from hitting or running over the vegetation. And the county engineer projected, you know, with your conventional paving, about is running about thousand dollars in that. Um, but with the alternative methods, you know, it'd be anywhere from twenty five to thirty thousand dollars in those other methods. The question was just brought to me. In our bylaws and any of our actions or whatever we might have, there's no way to put any kind of monetary penalty if they don't perform. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing anything like that anywhere in our bylaws or our power. No, and I think that's, is, that's got to be quasi-judicial in some fashion. If, if they were, if they didn't do what you all asked them to do, we can cite them based on the authority you all have. Um, and then the court system will decide the penalty, whether it's monetary or what, what have you. But it would still be complaint driven in the biggest fashion as far as determining, you know, dates and times and did they complete this and it, it's not something that staff is going to put in the calendar and say, okay, now it's just the 15th of the month and we haven't been out in 90 days, we need to go look at it. No, we don't have to we don't have to do that. Right. Okay. Could you, um, let me just ask a question. Yes, sir. I mean, we want to get it done. Uh, we could uh, take upon ourselves to come back to Board of the first of next year uh, to see you know, to let you know the progress that we've been. I'm hoping that we'll be able to be uh, progressing in phase two by the first of the year. We're hoping to have that in. And then we can still uh, move forward. If this, if this uh, variance is meant to provide, couldn't just pop the steel, utilize the building, the, the work facility as it is now, Sanctuary. Which 
you ought to still use the name. The old thing. Yes. We're still using it. And we're getting ready to take in front of that. Okay. The only reason it's not done is because of the weapon and the equipment they that motion would have been done already. But that's already clear to the engineering office. I talked to uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fletcher, that's another guy that works there. And he, you know, I talked to him. Not that it's official. Right, not official. Right. And he said it was a, he said it shouldn't be any problem with us. That's why. That's why that's the third part of the person. Well, he's one of the officials there. But it's still a third party. Questions or discussions before I, pass, before I see if we have any opposition or any additional support or whatever? Is there any other positive or support that people in the audience might like to give us, or is that pretty much the, the essence of the, the request? Just real quick, I would just like to ask to the board I, I'm the contract, the paper contract form, sir. And what I'm exactly, I think, uh, uh, I'm sorry, but what's your name? Um, uh, uh, Pastor Terry Kelly. Thank you. Uh, look, well, I think he has an open one to three to five years to pay the parking lot. So in the minute, in the interim, what it is, I think the, as Mr. Hardley has said, his building is sitting there with no use. And the use is the one that generates the revenue for the parking lot. So what I'm asking is, the question is, I'm a general contractor as well, so I didn't really come in as the general. I came in as a baby contract, but I'm willing to help the pastor if there's a way that the board can see for him to be a part of the uh, facility that he's already got, that he's already have, so that he can start raising the revenue to finish the parking lot. Even though I did a, with the weather we had this year, the, the, the imperfect materials that you're talking about are very good, but with the weather, with the water tape is higher as we have, once you run across the top, so the water table so high, so rocks will sink in the ground as well. So if any trucks, these new trucks that we drive, any big toys we got, it's going to cut it into the, the soil that's already there. So he's going to need a solid soil, at least away from this building. But the elevation, what they already got the building, a lot of the soil and the elevation, as you see, is going to be taken out. It's probably about 24 inches low. So once we break the soil, it's already there. There's not a compaction in anything that we put on top of that we put without a hard surface. That's my black top of concrete. But as he said, well, if it had not been for other reason, we had the second portion. And as he said, even with the drawings, the there, they have not been changed. They have not improved what the city or what the county or what he was trying to do is create an area where he can, he and I have been working on it. Matter of fact, I've been part of it too, sir, buddy. So we're just trying to work out what proportionally that he can work out for his funding to him to get the people out of there. Because as it's sitting now, it's just sitting. Thank you. Let me ask you something about this new handicap area. You're saying that this map was approved by the county engineer. That's still a district. So all you're doing is just changing, naming these handicap right. to naming those handicap, but the same plan. No change in the plan. Because what has happened in, to the board, the elevation of what's already going, though there is a the handicap that's put, put where they are now, even if someone was handicapped and they get a down for an inch, inch and a half rain, a ramp comes down into the parking lot, that water still can run up in this building. Can you imagine somebody handicapped standing in two inches of water yeah. trying to go up a ramp? So it, it's a hazard. Wow. And what, what the pastor and I looked at, where we're not going to change because he had a Access door to the side, we still have a ramp room, and he can actually put a ramp from the end. So you have two ramps for him to actually go in that he can go around and not be standing out of the water. Because if they're standing in the water, I think it's going to be a liability to him as well as myself and the district can as well. Anything else that you want to add? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Thank you very much.
Is there anyone here in opposition to this case? Does anyone have a problem with what's being requested? Was there any response to your office? Okay. Any other discussions from the board at this time? He does not need a new inspection by the, by the engineer. If he's just going to move them over from here to here. I do know that the county engineer stated that there were some elevation concerns with the way the construction was, was being done and that he would need, you know, a new set of, you know, design plans to, to review that water. Because that, it's, the way it's designed now, water will go into that central area. I don't know how they got a permit to begin with, to put the building where it is with the elevation being what it is right now. Apparently those plans satisfy the, the county engineer's office. Okay. Uh, I do understand part of the reason why they don't want to put gravel or rock down, even though I asked the question, because I can tell you from first-hand experience, at my work location, I have put tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of gravel in, and when it rains and the trucks drive in, and granted, I've got way more big equipment, way more traffic than they're going to have on one day a week use. But eventually, when it rains and it gets soft, it's like the gravel just disappears. So I understand largely why they want to put pavement down. Also, like I said earlier, I have never, in all the years I've been on here, we've never been faced with one that we were going to try to do in phases like this. So we're, we're entering unknown territory. We, we may be fixing to chart a path that others may try to take, so we have to take that into consideration. It is a limited use in my mind, so maybe we need to try to work with them. And after saying that, I almost am concerned that we need to wait another 30 days to find out what engineers will say about moving this stuff around, changing the plan, so to speak, in the middle of the, the game. Okay. Yes. We can try to get the county engineer over here if you want to move this item towards the end of the agenda. Well, I almost think it needs to be them okay. talking about it over a few minutes instead of them trying to hustle over here and feeling like they're under the gun and we're an inquisition on something like you know, I, I just feel like they need to do some talking and see what engineering has got to say about this. And I do believe Harris already has been in contact with the county engineer. So there's been some conversations um, and he's just waiting on them to submit in some, some things, some plans. And the, and the fact that we do potentially, and, and I'm, this is just me talking as chairman, trying to get some ideas out. They've been working on this, and we have postponed it. If we postpone it again, and they continue to work on it, as long as they do within the scope that the engineer agrees, the worst case scenario, they're gonna be pushed off a little bit more to be able to use the sanctuary another 30, to 60 days until we get this resolved? Or am I missing something somewhere? No, you're, you're, you're right. I, I concur. Or the board feet. I have a question. Um, if sometimes we make a variance and we tie that variance to the current use or the current restaurant that's in that building or the current something, or we say it expires if they did do their something in a certain amount of time. So rather than have a, I mean, he's talking about doing this thing as a phased approach, but in the end, he's not going to need a variance. He just needs more time, if I understand correctly. No, well, they're asking for a variance to some of the landscaping. Landscaping and the construction and of the, that parking lot. And, and construction of the parking lot. requirements that parking lot has to be paid for. 
Well, it will be paved in the end. Right? We, the the gentlemen are nodding their heads in the they, end. So they, we give them a variance for <coughs> a certain amount of time. And then we say it expired. Done. I think it's in the code that once you grant the variance, it is it is for that use on that property, it's but right I don't, the property. You, you, can't if you put a time frame on it that you have five years, you know, to have your payment done as you stated in your letter of intent, then it becomes an enforcement issue for us. Well, you got it. It's not like you have to actually make sure that they're making progress. All you have to do is at the end when the timer goes off, say, ding, the timer went off and check. Yes, and some of us are still here. <laughs> <laughs> there's some of us are still here. And we've never, we've never done it. We've never done it, but we did, as staff discussed, that who's going to be the responsible party to go out and check this. And, you know, what happens if they do not fulfill, you know. Right. You know, where, where's the teeth in it? Where's, where's the incentive to do it other than they want to do it so that they have a nice worship facility with nice parking. So that's that's really the key from their side. There's nothing on, on our side. Once they get granted, once we get granted them any kind of a variance, whatever that variance might be, then they can now get their certificate of certificate of occupancy. And they move in and start using it, and, and I'm not saying that's what they would do, but if they start following lack of funds or short of funds and dragging their feet, then there, there's virtually nothing that we can do about it. And before they built this new building, they were grandfathered to be able to park something, whatever, because they were existing before the only rules will make sense. Correct. So when they built the new building, then they had to start to follow And the plans were approved based on the painting and landscaping. Any other discussions? One question for the minister. If we push this back one more meeting to April, other than the fact that you're not going to be able to use the new building for 30 more days until we get some of this resolved, hopefully, a little bit more. Is there any other hardship? Would I still use an old sanctuary? I'm still using an old sanctuary. And this, this, this also gives you 30 more days to complete a little bit more of this to the engineer satisfaction maybe have a letter from the engineer or something that says you they have looked at your design and it's okay they've agreed you can move your your, your handicapped park away my engineer is so many they should be able to do it so and, uh, I'm, I'm contracting with it again so it's not so much my mind is go to the engineering this afternoon tomorrow morning and say hey we're we're making a change we need your blessing to make this change what do we need to do to get your blessing to make this change and in the meantime once they have agreed to this swap and you put a little bit more concrete on the ground do a little, a little bit more work then it shows at least me that we can depend on you to finish this project at some point in the future. It'll get finished. <laughs> if I don't live, it'll get finished. Not okay. Uh, can I entertain a motion of some kind on this, or, or are we done talking about it? I make a motion that we table this situation until we further information concerning the engineers and the project. I have a motion on the floor to postpone action on this case until the next regularly scheduled April meeting. Motion made by Dr. Housel. I have second from Ms. Hobby. All in favor, please raise your hand. 
for a unanimous diet. We will listen again next April, whatever, what's the date you'll be for now? 7th, I believe April 1st. 7th. First Tuesday in April, we will be here at 2.30, and you will be the first case to be heard. Please touch base with the engineer and make sure that they're satisfied with your swap of everything. Please bring us something in writing that says this is has been approved and look what we've accomplished in the last next 30 days and this is where we're going. And we'll try to make some make some, try to give you some kind of action. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Next case is VAR 2014-01, Gerald Caseland, 5867 Swindle Road, Rose City. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This next case is a variance to the county's lot frontage form. Um, it's a variance to chapters four and chapter six of the OVC. Uh, basically, the chapters require that each lot of a division of property must have frontage on a county maintained road. And in this case, Swindle Road is a closed right-of-way. Um, the county closed this road back in 2004. Um, back in 2004, and the applicant would like to create three new lots um, from their estate. Um, in part of the closing of the road, one of the property owners out there did pay that Swindle um, Road um, it's a 15 foot paved driveway, but he also recorded a 20 foot ingress egress easement so that each person can have access to their own property. Um, staff looked at this. Um, the 